My Needle Drops. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd, going to do an LP review of Dead Weathers, Sea of Cowards. The Dead Weather is one of several projects brought to us by the infamous Jack White of the White Stripes, and features Alison Mosshart of The Kills, the from Queens of the Stone Age, and the bass player from The Raccoon Tours. This LP is the extremely buzzed follow-up to their 2009 album, Whorehound. Nice that they would follow up that within a year. And let me preface this review by saying it's going to be a little bit of good news and some bad news too. But, as you guys know, I'm here to make videos, not friends. Well, what do I like about this record? I have to say the sound. The sound of this thing is immaculate, really. One of the best sounding records of this year. Some very vintage sounding reverb, some thick, fuzzy, muddy bass, very saturated organ sounds, and of course, the guitar sounds are amazing. The tones of the guitar, the timbre of the guitar, the distortion quality and various effects laid down by Jack White. The guy is really a master of tone. He really knows his sound and I would expect nothing less. Jack White really expands upon the guitar sounds he put together on the first Dead Weather album and even on his work with the White Stripes. He's really calling back to artists like Hendrix and Cream and Zeppelin. Just, 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 there's just some real passion and detail in the production of this album and it's really not something you come across every day. In a lot of ways it kind of spits into the face of the over digitalization of modern rock albums. Really if you're not enjoying the sound of this album you're kind of just enjoying half of it. Not even, maybe 30 percent. This is not grape juice. This is wine. So stop gulping it, sip it, smell it, taste it, and enjoy it. Now what this LP also has are some really great grooves at its disposal. I'm not sure how they recorded this thing, but it doesn't sound really rigid and multi-tracked and very sterile. It sounds really down and dirty and filthy. A lot of interplay between all the musicians just adding a ton of subtlety to the mix. Just some really sweet ass rock and roll. But to quote the single, Die By The Drop, I've got myself a problem. And my issues with this LP are pretty much limited to the songwriting, a little bit, but mostly the vocals. There are a few tracks where Jack White throws this demonic chorus on his voice that sounds way more obnoxious than it is interesting, pretty much ruining the song for me at least. And just some of the vocal deliveries too, and the lyrical situation has me missing the days of Get Behind Me Satan. Shake your hips like battleships. All the white girls trip when I sing Sunday service. That to me just sounds like some novelty rock rap bullshit. And on the track I'm Mad, I figure Jack White actually must be mad because that song doesn't really say much outside of the lyric, I'm mad. Ha ha. And I can't really say, at least in the context of this album anyway, that I'm a fan of the vocals of Alison Mosshart. She tries to sound really soulful and just give it her all, and it just kind of ends up sounding contrived or kind of like a parody of the musical style that she's trying to sing in. But still, this album just has a ton of texture and variation, great sound quality. The songs are pretty decent. I just wish the lyrics were a little bit better, and I know Jack White can write some pretty goddamn good lyrics because of his days in the White Stripes, and in terms of the vocal deliveries, I just wish they sounded just a little bit more natural. I'm kind of feeling an extremely, extremely strong five on this album, teetering on a six. There are a few songs on here that I'm okay with, but most of it to me is just ruined by the vocals. And though I know a five is kind of a neutral-esque score, it's not really because I'm bored with this album. It's because I have this one aspect of it that I really, 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 really love, and there's another aspect of it that I really really don't care for at all, and they kind of just cancel each other out. I don't want to feel that way, but I do, still. If you're into the blues rock thing, if you're into the 70s rock thing, and you just want to hear some badass guitar music, at least give this a check out. And if you've heard this LP, or if you're a big fan of The Dead Weather, you like Jack White's work, even the Rock Hound Tours, tell me what you think of this LP. Love it, hate it, and why. Anthony Fantano, The Dead Weather, Sea of Cowards.
forever.